Yes, everybody, welcome back to the Aaron Davies YouTube channel. And today we are finally getting down to predicting the 2024 Euros. And of course, we're back in these lot. Okay, so first up in Group A, we are going with Germany, Switzerland, Scotland and Hungary. In that order, I think it's going to finish. I think Germany just being at home are most likely favourites to go very, very far on this and potentially win it. Their team is pretty solid. I'm very surprised Hummels has not been selected. I'm not going to lie. So I think that's a bit of an interesting one. Switzerland could be underdogs. They really could be like dark horses to try and go pretty far on this as well. Scotland or oh, Scotland. I, I think Scotland just with the sheer passion they try and bring to the game of football with their fans and everything. They're taking so many fans, which is just ridiculous. Um, I think Scotland will come third and third does end up going through um, if the place in the air, uh, what do you call it? like third place play each other, what have you, and they, they go through the round of 16. Um, Hungary, last, a lot of people may be surprised about this. A lot of people think Hungary, you know, will definitely get out of the group Scotland and come last. But I'm going to try and differ things and just go with Hungary coming last. Everyone's banging on about Sabozlai, and I don't say it yet. Kids got masses of potential, of course. But like three goals to assist in the Premier League this season isn't anything to boast about. Uh, don't get us wrong, he's got time. But the rest of the Hungarian team, bar their goalkeeper, good few defenders, and Sabozlai, I can't really see them hanging on in that group, and they are going to be the first ones to drop out. Group B then, um, I'm going with Croatia atop it. Croatia atop the group, Spain to come second, Italy to come third, and Albania last. I think the one we can easily write out here is Albania. Albania coming last. If they even come third, well done. That is a brilliant accomplishment because that is insane. Their group is practically the group of death at this point. It could either be Italy, Spain, Croatia going through. It's between them ones. Obviously, even if you come third, you're going to be going through. But it depending on who comes first and second. And I think it's just a toss-up between the three clubs. Um, Italy, I think, will just do pretty poor this year because the the one at last time and... And you never really see them teams kind of bounce back into um, doing really well again. Uh, Spain's team looks amazing, the, t uh, the players they've brought up. Croatia always have such a solid, solid run in a tournament, the past recent ones. Um, and that worries me being an England fan, of course, they're not just out of the World Cup. Um, and it worries me that we might end up playing them uh, further down the line in the Euros. Group C then, and a lot of people could disagree, I don't know. Obviously, we're trying to back these lot here, yeah, but... I've got Denmark top in the group. I think Denmark's team is just getting better and better and better. And they're getting so many young talents coming up for the team. Hoyland's there as well. I think that kid could potentially go on to be the top goal scorer in the Euros if Denmark go really far. Um, but yeah, I think Denmark will top the group. I don't think England will lose a game. Um, but I think against Denmark, we're probably going to draw. And I think Denmark will score more goals than England as well. So... I think Denmark will probably top the group just on like goal difference, what have you. Um, so England coming second, we've got Serbia third and Slovenia last. Serbia, a lot of people are saying might come second and England top. I've seen a lot of predictions like that. Serbia do have a very solid team. Uh, obviously, they're still going to go through going third. Uh, so I don't think that's like necessarily a bad thing on their behalf. Group D then, France's group. Of course, France are going to top this group. But what's interesting, I've got Austria coming second. I think Austria are going to be my dark horses. I've seen a lot of people obviously say Serbia, Switzerland, maybe um, even Spain. You could take your class as a dark horse in this. Um, their team's changed a lot down the years. Uh, but yeah, I'm genuinely going to go with Netherlands coming third. Netherlands have not been great in the past few tournaments um i just i can't say it i really can't say it. a lot of their players are getting on they do still have van dyke one of the best defenders ever uh who could necessarily help them poland i think have just completely lost it and they're they're out of all sort of oh well poland ever gonna do well yeah i think poland are out of them conversations now and they're gonna come rock bottom but yeah france top austria second watch out for them Group A then, and I think, honestly, this can go either way. Um, so as you can see, I've put Belgium, Slovakia, Romania, Ukraine. And a lot of people could disagree with Ukraine. Ukraine generally have some really good talents on their team. Um, but I think just everything that's going on, I think there's going to be massive amount of pressure on them. I can say them hit the rock bottom. Romania might just get like a lucky win over Ukraine that will finish them in third. 
Um, Slovakia have a really decent team, to be quite fair. Yeah, they could even top it. I mean, Belgium look really poor, and their team on paper looks really shit. Um, so Belgium could be favourites to come second or third, in all seriousness, and Slovenia top the group. Uh, but I think I've, I might have disrespected Ukraine a bit there and having them last, but I think that's just the way that Kuti crumbles uh, with this group. But not least, Group F. I've went with Portugal, Czech Republic, Georgia and Turkey. Now, a lot of people disagree with Turkey. People had Turkey being the dark horses in the World Cup, was it? Um, I don't know what it is about Turkey. I feel like they're getting overhyped at this point. They've got a, some big names in there, or biggish names, and everyone thinks, oh, they're going to be doing well. But look at Georgia's team. Look at some of the talents Georgia have. Look at who Czech Republic have. Czech Republic have such a solid foundation. And Portugal, of course, or Portugal, CR7, may I speak anymore. Right then, round of 16 it is, and I'm going to put all of them up on screen right now and tell you who's going to win each one of them games. Germany versus England. I hate playing the Germans. It's always good fun, rivalry and everything. It's always a big game. I hate playing them, though, because it, it really can go either way. And in the in the past, we've not had very good experiences against Germany. Um, in World Wars, we'll have, though. Ha -ha. Uh, right, so England are going to beat Germany. I've got it back, England. I, round of 16 exit would just be absolutely disgraceful in my eyes. And I, I would probably cry. If, if we exit in the round of 16, I probably would. Uh, I've got Switzerland beating Spain. Now, a lot of people, like I did say, have Switzerland being sort of like a dark horse thing, underdog, whatever. Uh, I think Switzerland would beat Spain. They beat France last time. They can do it this time against someone like Spain. Uh, Croatia, Scotland. It's Croatia, of course. Uh, I think that's the furthest Scotland are going. If they manage to finish third, they will get knocked out in the round of 16 anyway. They're going to face a really tough team in the, round, in the round of 16. If they manage to beat Croatia, round of a fucking applause. That would be insane. Uh, Denmark versus Netherlands. I've got Denmark. Like I said, Netherlands are just really poor in my eyes. They've got some amazing names in their team, but they always just end up doing pretty poor. Um, I mean, Brazilian World Cup, they were really good. Don't get us wrong. Uh, but yeah, I've got Denmark beating Netherlands. Denmark will always go far in tournaments now in my eyes. There, there is so many talents come up uh, in that Danish team that are just like... Uh, Denmark could potentially win a, a tournament at one point, like especially in my lifetime. I can say it. Uh, Portugal, Serbia. I've got Serbia. This is a massive shock. But like I said, watch out for Serbia. Teams like Serbia, Austria, Switzerland. Watch out for these up-and-coming teams. And I think it'll be a shock, emotional exit for Cristiano Ronaldo in the round of 16. Mark my words. We'll then move on to Austria, Slovakia. I think Austria are going to breeze past this game. Uh, Belgium, Italy. I've got Italy. Um, I think if Belgium manage to make it out of the group, they're gone in the round of 16. It's the exact same with Scotland. I think if they manage to make it out of their respected groups, they're gone in the next round anyway. And then, last but not least in the round of 16, we have France and Czech Republic. And I think everyone has to back France. Yeah, Czech Republic could give them a good game. But let's be honest, France made it through. Right then, quarter final time. And it is, it's the dreaded game. I said it. It's Croatia, England. I despise playing Germany and Croatia. But, uh... England, England are doing it. I think we're going to get a sweet, sweet revenge on Croatia this time and we're going to be the ones to knock them out of an international tournament, which should be nice. Um, Serbia-Austria will be a very entertaining match, both kind of back to be the dark horses and everything um, of the tournament. But I've got Austria going through. Yes, I've got Austria making the semi-finals of the Euros. You heard it, you first, people. Italy-France, yet again, a very entertaining game of football, but France have to be back. France have to go all the way, surely. Look at their team. Look at what they've done in the past. They've got Mbappe. He's going to have a ridiculously good tournament after being transferred to Real Madrid. It's bound to happen. France going all the way. Denmark-Switzerland, yet again, another good game. I think these quarterfinals are probably some of the best quarterfinals we've seen in an international tournament. Uh, but I've got Denmark finally knocking out Switzerland. Switzerland, amazing tournament. One of the best teams I think we'll see in the tournament. But Denmark have, they're just so strong and they've got such a solid foundation. They're always going to be back to get through. Semi-final time, I've got England-Austria. Finally, we actually have like, a game where England fans would be very, very sort of hopeful. You'd say England, Austria, I'd be like, we have to win this game. There, there is a chance to make a final again, back-to-back -back times in the Euros. You have to beat Austria. England fans would be licking their lips at this game. But 
No, I've got England going through. Yeah, I, I, I don't. Th as, as much as I boasted about Austria on this video, just surely we don't lose. If we make the final and we're playing a team like Austria, do not fucking it up. Please do not fuck it up. And uh, the other semis, we've got France versus Denmark, and I think France are going to do it. I think the majority of people's predictions will end up being England-France in the final. They are, like, not ranked in the world currently, but they are pretty much the two best nations in the world. If not, you're having Brazil in there instead of England. Um, obviously, they're not in the Euros, though, are they? Uh, so yeah, I'd go England France. I think is the majority of people's um, finals, and I'm just gonna put it out here first. France to win it. I think France win it. It, it would. It's gonna be a shame. I I just every single tournament, us England fans boast about it coming home, but this is the one where I've been like, it ain't happening. The past uh, Euros and the past World Cup, I was really hopeful. I was like, you know what, this can genuinely happen. When we made the semi-finals of the Euros four years ago, I was like, holy shit, this is actually going to happen. And especially when Luke Shaw scored that goal in the final, I was like, we are literally 80-odd minutes away from this lifting my first trophy since 1966. And I was like, it's happening. Um, the World Cup... Two years after that, I was like, look at the Euros we've just had. We're going to do this in the World Cup. We're going to win the World Cup. We missed out on the Euros on pens. We're going to win the World Cup. Obviously, we got knocked out by France. And that's the only thing where I'm like, okay, France are like the main problem for England. And I definitely think they will be in this tournament. There's not many teams that are going to stop us. But I think France will most likely be the only one. If we manage to play France in the final and beat them, what a run. What a run. Historic. Absolutely insane. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, they are my Euro 2024 predictions. Let us know your guys' predictions in the comment section down below. And I will uh, I will probably come back to this and make a video after England get knocked out. Hopefully it's not in the group stage though. See you in a bit.